Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Golden J back with episode 2 of Golden S&P. Thanks for tuning in to this video. If you're new to the channel and you like the content I post or you like what I'm doing right now, go ahead and subscribe. What are you waiting for? Just click the button. Click the button. But anyways, if you guys want to tune in to this S&P, like actually play on the server and stuff like that, uh, first thing I want to say, don't apply if you're not a YouTuber. If you're not a YouTuber, then you might as well not even apply because you're going to get denied. If you're a YouTuber and you think you post good Minecraft content, go ahead and just apply. The link to the application video will be in the description. But without further ado, let's get into what we're supposed to be doing today. Uh, before I recorded this, I actually went mining. As you can see there, I got a bunch of ores. I actually went mining, strip mining to be exact in the community mine, which is at spawn. And we're going to be cracking open all of these resources. Also, uh, after recording episode one, I actually did some off camera stuff like for hours. Like, like got a lot of work done. Uh, a lot of work done. Uh, one of the things that I did get done is look at these enchantments. Uh, this bow was actually given to me. I traded in for an enchanted uh, pickaxe and stuff like that. And uh, we have this amazing freaking pickaxe, which we have efficiency six, it will touch mending and f unbreaking four. Ending villager here, you see the Liberian paper, 20 paper for an emerald, go over 15 emeralds for a mending book, which is absolutely amazing. And he does 33 paper for an emerald and then 19 for looting three, which is actually pretty good as well. Another, another really good thing. Uh, we're actually going to sleep here. Ah, oh, what happened? We're actually going to sleep here and I'll, you know, get you out of guys when I wake up. Spent most of my time over here on this side of our kingdom per se and this is my xp grinder um as you guys know uh, we do have a plugin called silk spawners which i am going to freaking use and abuse we have skeletons on this side zombies on this side back there is a zombie spawner back there is a skeleton spawner afk here and you get double the xp because you got two spawners and then once we find more spawners and stuff like that uh we'll add more to it so it can you know spawns right so go freaking highest crap it'll skyrocket i actually do have a case spider spawner but i don't know if i want to use it i might just sell it to somebody that wants to use it because you know we do have a shop system and we don't have a shop yet not yet and that's where the mini zombies go they just fall down and die that goes all the way down to bedrock and they die that's like 35 blocks or so because we are at uh, where are we we're at 29 so that's like 29 blocks and they die at like 25 or something so that's all good uh this is the stuff that we have received so far from just being down here and uh, Ava Kang and stuff like that. I don't think there's anything in those chests. But uh, yeah, let's just go back up and crack open these ores. Be doing the crack opening ore thingy. Uh, sorry for the lag because I got these cows here. You know, this is my food source halfway. I got 63 steak. I just ate one. So uh, that's probably why it's lagging. If it's not lagging, then it's freaking awesome. I'm not sure if it is or not. But uh, if it is, then I'm sorry. But you know. So first thing we're going to open is actually these uh, diamond ores. Let's put our pickaxe away. We got this pickaxe here. Efficiency 5. This is going to be efficiency 6 um, with Mindig. Uh, fortune 3 and I'm breaking 4. Right? Yeah, I'm breaking 4. Uh, so let's just crack on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 diamonds. Let's see what we can get out of 10 diamonds with fortune 3, shall we? 11, 12, 7. I'm liking this. 30 diamonds, 10 diamonds, 10 diamond ores. That's like three times as much as this, the, uh, you know, fortune three. All right, let's do this lapis. We got four lapis. What does four lapis turn into when you use the efficiency three on it? Fortune three, I keep saying efficiency. All right, four goes into 46. That's actually really good. Uh, we're gonna do the redstone and coal right now as we speak. Let me just build a super big tower and I'll catch you guys after I'm doing that super big tower. All right, so this is a stack in 29 redstone here. And you see, we're above the clouds. Let's get cracking. A stack in 29 turns into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stacks in 52, which is amazing. Uh, I'm actually gonna start smelting this golden iron and I will hit you guys up when the, uh, you know, cold tower is finished. Finish. Let's get cracking. Look at these clouds. You can barely see the clouds. Let's go. All right, so we got three stacks of coal, which I thought was gonna get a lot more. But then I remembered that when you regularly break redstone, you get a lot, but when you regularly break coal, you get one. So uh, I, I guess that's pretty good. I guess that's pretty good from a stack and some, you get three. So uh, yeah, let's get on. It's the verge of midnight. We can see the beautiful sky. 
in the beautiful wall of China. <laughs> uh, some designs that I have in mind for the wall. I just don't want to keep. I don't want to keep it all plain like this. Just like a, a big old stone wall or anything like that. I also need to get me some more torches to light the area up. I had a full inventory of stone. This wall is six blocks high, and it's gonna be eight because I want to add maybe two things on top of it on top on top of uh, every other one or everyone or something like that just add a little design to it and where's mr villager if, if mr villager escaped i know something but uh let's just craft ourselves you know what? i don't even know what do i oh do i do i do what are you doing there we go there we go we're gonna craft ourselves up some torches here that way no monsters spawn in the night and blow up the wall of awesomeness uh the wall of beijing the freaking is there a wall of beijing i don't know i probably sound really stupid right now because i don't know if there's a wall of Beijing or not. But if there was, we got the wall of Beijing. Uh, let's just warm up everything. Warm up. Let's just... La, see, see, that's what I'm talking about. That is exactly what I'm talking about right there. Exactly what I'm talking about. I don't want that to happen ever again. It probably is going to happen again. Honestly, because spiders can just climb up the wall. Good thing zombies going to climb up and kill all the villagers, you know? But best thing we could do is just light up the entire area. Hopefully nothing spawns inside of this area right here and we'll be good. So one thing that we do have to do is actually destroy the um, destroy the fences. That's why I have a fresh new iron axe in my inventory there. As you can see, we're just going to walk around the entire wall. Make sure that there's no... Look at that. See that? See that? There was a zombie up there. I know y'all... There it is. See? He could have killed all the villagers. Uh, he could have killed all the villagers. We're probably going to have to put like slabs on top of it uh, I taught the entire thing I don't know what kind of slabs I would like to put up there though you know I really don't know but I'm gonna go ahead and hop inside of a creative world and see what designs that I come up with and I'll see you guys after after that so you know putting everything up it looks pretty nice to me I like it it looks like a proper kingdom and we're gonna expand to be even better uh, right now I'm just working on these little doors and stuff like that probably after it's a place in Call of Duty but uh, this is just forward. This is a sign, a carpet on top of a sign. That way, that our zombies and skeletons and creepers and stuff won't come in here, because they'll walk and think that there is not a block right there. So then they'll just stop and then turn around and try another way. And that's really good for me, because you know I don't want to die. I don't want anything to come in there and just blow me up. So uh, yeah, that's all for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, subscription. Also, if you want to apply, like I said in the beginning of the video, uh, the link will be in the description. YouTubers only, YouTubers only. And uh, yeah, go ahead and apply. Thanks.